Now, Revere Daji would like to show a beautiful, a small video on the effects of radiation. This is what everyday life looks like for most of us. Although this scene appears to be quite harmless, all of us are being exposed to some very harmful waves. What if I told you that each of these people is carrying a time bomb without realizing just how explosive it is? Would it be scary or surprising? Maybe both. Let's assume that we can see these waves. Each of these modern electronic devices emit radiation. What would this scene look like then? Scary, isn't it? Just when you think you have a fighting chance for a long, healthy life, you realize that the device you're watching this on is in all likelihood harming you right now. Radiation can be broadly classified into two types, ionizing and non-ionizing. Sources for ionizing radiation include heat or light from the sun, X-rays from an X-ray tube, and gamma rays from radioactive elements. Meanwhile, non-ionizing radiation is emitted by cell phones when it sends and receives radio frequency signals and uses Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. And they will cause a thermal effect that could raise body temperature and lead to health complications in the long run. RF radiation's lethal effects were easily evident in this simple experiment. When a blood sample was placed under a microscope, the WBCs in the blood remained static, at ease and completely unthreatened. However, when a cell phone was brought close to it, the WBCs became violently active, searching for the threat to take preventive action. They will never be able to fight the waves of radiation, of course, but they are fully capable of producing more WBCs to counter the threat, and this could easily lead to leukemia. What is leukemia? It is commonly known as the cancer of the blood cells. RF radiation is fully capable of turning your own body's defenses against you. Let us look at another experiment. Sprouts were planted in four separate pots and they were exposed to the same conditions, except one was kept in a room with Wi-Fi, another in a room with Bluetooth, the third in a room with an active mobile phone connection, and the last one in a meditation room that had no radiation. Within a week, the plants had grown, but except the one in the meditation room, the others had turned yellow. The effects of Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and RF radiation may be minimal, but they are strong enough to cause lasting damage if you are overexposed to them, especially in the young and developing bodies of children. What can we do to reduce our exposure to radiation? Use wired networks wherever possible. Turn off routers when they are not being used. Use a speakerphone on your device or wired headphones whenever possible. Instead of stashing your phone in a pocket, carry it in your bag. When you go to bed, keep your phone as far away from you as possible or activate airplane mode or just switch it off entirely. Avoid giving small children phones to play with like toys. Only switch Bluetooth and Wi-Fi on when you really need to use it. Otherwise, turn it off. Some countries have already begun adopting these preventive measures, especially in schools. Maybe it is about time that we did too. The Greeks and the Romans used to be among the most prosperous races on the planet, and they were at the forefront of innovation and technology at their time. A small error wiped them up, a mistake that could have been reversed if they were more careful. They chose to cook and eat in utensils that were coated with lead because it was a status symbol and also the food tasted better. Now lead is a toxic metal that accumulates in the human body, affecting the nervous system and eventually causing death. However, by the time they realized what was going on, it was too late. They were affected by so much lead poisoning that it wiped out a significant part of their population. The death count was high and ultimately, it led to the Roman Empire crumbling out of existence. Our present scenario is very similar to the Greeks and the Romans. They needed to eat, but had they given up the usage of lead, they could have avoided misfortune and lived long and healthy lives. Similarly, we do need to access the internet and its conveniences in the modern world. But it is about time that we did it responsibly. Why wait until our children have to pay the price for our carelessness?
so that was the effect of radiation so better to keep it away as far as possible